Okay, quick update video. Um, the levels I spoke about earlier, we broke. So this key area here, I said we couldn't go below it, and we did. However, the last line of defense I said was 3942, which has held. So we're finding support here. Okay. Um, in the NASDAQ, the, the big levels I talked about were here. And we have gone below them, and now we're accepting value below them. Okay. But this is an old, used to be the most traded price of the year. Here, this little box here is orange box, which has held the market. But we are underneath the last line of defense, which is 115.28. Okay. Um, show you guys real quickly in the spy. So 393.3 right here, you can see, has been support multiple times. It acted as support today. Let's see the cues. Now the Q's last line of defense was 280. That's the same price as little 115.28. So right now we're breaking under it again. Before we went under it, came above it. Now we're going back below it. So this is pretty bearish for the Nasdaq. However, we're approaching that most year tra um, most traded price of the year. Um, if I show you the 60-minute chart, here's the prices. This is the ES. Here's those prices. Here's where we caught a bid, where a support, and now we're starting to come under this. Again, we'll see, okay? Because after you break this, there's not much until 39.13. Okay. Let's go to the Nasdaq. We can show the same thing. So in the NASDAQ, like I just showed you, here's the level I said we can't go below, but we are now, and we are accepting value. These are our candles, so that's one, two, three hours of acceptance below this level. This node right here is the most trader price of the year that it used to be, the most trader price of the year. This is holding up the NASDAQ right now. Okay, this is probably the last defense here. I know I said that before, but this really is, it used to be the most trader price of the year. This is the most shorter price of the year, so this whole area is important to hold. If it doesn't, probably expect more downside. But we're still in this range, and this would break this range below this. Okay. Let's move over to back to the market profile. Let's see if anything else is important to note. Um. So what I see right now, I mean, we're, we're catching a bit off the lows, but this doesn't look too great, and we have power tomorrow. So we are accepting below those big levels. So overall, that's a win for the Bears. We have to see if we can close above them or not. If we can't, then this is bearish. Just wanted to give the update.